Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Zephron Olive, and it's time for another Instant Deck Tech. So as you know, Tuesday means it's Type 2 or Standard Tuesday, and we have a pretty spicy list to check out today. This is four color acquisition comes to us from Azeki Baku who took it to a top 8 finish in a small Japanese tournament so congrats to Azeki on a really unique deck a quick reminder before we break down four color acquisition for standard if you enjoy this deck and you want to see it made to videos take a minute click the like button the subscribe button leave a comment anything you can do to support your deck because whichever deck is most popular gets a shot at being made into videos next week so four color acquisition is built around masterminds acquisition so basically a demonic tutor that is also a wish letting us get cards from our sideboard so the main plan of this deck is to use our masterminds acquisitions to either tutor up our game winning important pieces and sweepers from our main deck or in a pinch we can grab something out of our sideboard so it just gives us a ton of flexibility our main plan for winning the game is is approach of the second sons we got the full four copies of approach of the second sons the unique thing about this deck is while we're technically four color for some sideboard cards we're really mostly abzan and traditionally you see approach of the second sun decks be in blue because the plan is to just brute force card draw your way into approach you're casting glimmer of geniuses you're using search for his contas you're cycling this deck is a little different we don't just have a ton of card draw instead we essentially have eight copies of approach of the second son with masterminds acquisition working as additional copies of approach so when, rather than just trying to draw a million cards and eventually find our approaches we're just tutoring them up directly with our masterminds acquisition the neat part about being in green rather than blue is we get a ton of ramp, which means we can cast our big stuff, our approach to the second suns, way earlier than most decks. So we start off on turn three with Gifts of Paradise beneath the sands. This gives us up to five mana, which is enough for Hour of Promise, which gets us two more mana, which means on theory, as soon as turn five, we can cast our first copy of Approach of the Second Sons, and then we're just another turn or two away from tutoring up our second copy winning the game with approach of the second sons our promise also gives us some chump blockers and is kind of our backup plan in our main deck we only have approach of the second sons as a real win condition so our promise or our backup ramper chef at monitor give us a couple of creatures although in all fairness we don't really need more finishers in our main deck because we have Masterminds Acquisition, so we can just tutor our finishers from the sideboard if we need a different way of winning the game, which is a really huge upside of Masterminds Acquisition. We have Fumigate and Settle the Wreckage as our main wrath, so six sweepers to deal with our opponent's stuff, just slow down the game while we're setting up our big, powerful finishes and tutors with our Masterminds approach. And then... For the rest of our removal, Battle at the Bridge gains us a bunch of life, so does Veraska's Contempt can gain us some life, dealing with creatures, dealing with even hard to deal with creatures, which is the upside of both Veraska's Contempt and Battle at the Bridge. The negative X, negative X effect on Battle at the Bridge and the exiling of Veraska's Contempt means that stuff like Hazaret the Fervent isn't a big deal. Veraska's Contempt deals with Scarab God, also Planeswalkers, never to return, just a one of, but it's kind of a main deck graveyard hate spell in a really slow way while also dealing with Planeswalkers. Ixalan's Binding, pretty nice profane procession also pretty sweet gives us a repeatable way to exile creatures and also lets us get those creatures back eventually it's really slow but in grindy matchups it's really really good to have that repeatable removal and we can play as a one of tutor it up when it's good with our masterminds acquisition and just leave it in our deck otherwise as far as the mana base a bunch of deserts to support our hour of promise primarily to make sure that we can get those zombies also just gives us some free value sacrificing Deadlands to kill things. Chef of Dunes, I guess, can pump our zombie tokens and so forth. We have a backup, backup, backup win con of sacrificing deserts to Rivulet to mill our opponent out. Then we have a bunch of dual lands, also some basic lands, and an Arch of Orozco, which is a sweet tutor target for hour of promise giving us some repeatable card advantage in our mana base so remember we are a masterminds acquisition deck which means all of our sideboard is technically part of our deck as well we don't have to wait to game two to gain access to our sideboard cards so what sideboard cards do we have to potentially tutor up in game one with masterminds acquisition well first off we got a bunch more finishers so one of the cool things is if our opponent 
can deal with our approach. Maybe they're playing a ton of counter spells, so we can't reliably win with approach of the second sun. We can use Mastermind's acquisition to get Nezahal, <laughs> uncounterable finishing threat. We can get a Scarab God in the right matchup. We can get Regal Caracal against Mono Red to gain some life. So all these cards we have access to thanks to Mastermind's acquisition, so we can get out of some really tight, weird situations thanks to tutoring from our sideboard. We can also tutor up Duress if we need to against control decks. We have a bunch more removal we can get, a Sweeper and Bantu's Last Reckoning, Slice and Twain, Forsake the Worldly for artifacts and enchantments, and then a couple of other just really powerful options. Pull from tomorrow. If we get to the late game, we have a ton of mana from our ramp. We want to refill our hand. We can grab pull. Wildest Dreams, kind of the same way, but from our graveyard, we just get back all the cards from our graveyard or a bunch of them using all of our ramp. Probably getting back the Masterminds acquisition as well, so we can cast it again and get something else and just keep going deep with the card advantage. So really, really cool use of Masterminds acquisition. And that is four color acquisition for standard. And that's our instant deck tech for today. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.